Hey, it's Lauren. I'm a licensed hair professional for the last 12 years, and I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about L'Oreal's new Airlight Pro dryer. So this dryer I purchased a couple months ago because I was in the pro store and they happened to have this. And so I've been testing it out. And until just a few days ago, this was not available to the public, but now you can go out and purchase this dryer. So I want to give you all of the details of why I think this dryer is superior to everything I've ever used. I have used everything from Revlon and Conair to the dry bar blow dryers. I've had a Babyliss, which I actually am going to do a comparison with today. I've had a Dyson. I've had a T3. I've had so many different dryers and many of them being professional dryers. This one, I want you to look at my hair. Look how smooth it is. I have been using a two-in-one drugstore shampoo and I only put on a little bit of leave-in and a root volumizer on my hair. I want you to look at how sleek it is. I have bleached hair. This hair dryer is incredible. At the time of me making this video, this currently retails to the general public for $475. This is a premium dryer. You are going to pay a higher price for it. Similar in category to the Dyson, for instance. So this dryer was created by L'Oreal and they partnered with a company called Zuvi, who they specialize in electronics, robotics. What makes this unique though, is that the infrared light technology, it utilizes heat in a way that also doesn't disrupt the skin. And so it helps to dry the hair faster, accompanied with that wind as well and the heat. I also want to reiterate that infrared light is not the same as UV light, so you're not damaging your hair and your skin while using this. Infrared light travels quicker, so you're going to get less heat damage while also drying the hair faster and sealing in moisture at the same time. The other thing that I think is really great about this is it has an extremely long cord. Like this is at least nine or 10 feet. Haven't measured it to be sure, but it is a professional dryer. So you do get that nice long cord length with it. Now let's talk about some of the specs and claims that they make about this dryer. They say that it is going to dry your hair 14% faster. I actually feel like this is an accurate claim. I feel like my hair dries so quickly with this dryer. They also say that there is 11% less energy used comparing this to other leading premium dryers and they say that the hydration is locked in. There is some shine to my hair and that is honestly really hard to do on blonde or bleached hair. Part of why this dryer leaves your hair feeling softer and more hydrated is because of the infrared light technology. It has a similar effect to if you were to air dry your hair. If you've ever air dried your hair and you feel that moisture level in your hair compared to blow drying, which can make your hair feel almost stripped, this helps dry your hair, locking that moisture into your hair, but then you're also not going to get frizz. It's really fascinating to me. The other thing about this, this has a 17 blade high speed motor. Um, you can get 130 miles per hour wind speed with this thing, but it still remains pretty quiet compared to other dryers. And I'll do a quick comparison of that for you so you can hear the difference. So here is my Babyliss at full speed. We're gonna click that on. Okay, pretty loud. Now I'm going to turn on the Airlight Pro and we'll make sure it's on max speed. You just flip this little button here and then this one is the speed. But you can hear me a lot better. It does have that sort of like a higher pitch sound similar to a Dyson, but it is not a deep, loud, booming white noise the same way that other dryers are. So that's pretty cool. Since I had turned it on, let me show you what it looks like. So. This is one of the two attachments that you get. You can see we have a really teeny tiny thin blade thin concentrator nozzle. This is so wonderful. If you are really trying to get a smooth finish on the hair and angle it down, you're not going to get a ton of blowback and frizz because of that. I actually want to show you a comparison. This is a fantastic dryer also. 
Um, but I want you to look at the comparison of the concentrator nozzle. I used to think that this one was so, so thin. This one on the Airlight Pro is like a blade. It is so fine. And I find that it actually does make a really big difference in the actual smoothness you're going to get when blow drying the hair. Now, what is so special about these is that when you click them on, it changes the setting based on the attachment because there is a way to scan a QR code on here and it will automatically customize to whatever setting you choose for these attachments. I'm just gonna show you first. Here's the light. Let me make sure that's clicked on. You can see that infrared light. Now, I'm gonna click on this nozzle. So here it is. Watch what happens. It changes the setting. I also wanna point out there is a cool shot function on here and it's not super obvious. This is why having the app is also super helpful because it gives you some tips and pointers that are not necessarily intuitive. So when you use the cold shot on this, you turn it on and you hold this button down. It doesn't say a cool shot anywhere, but it is the temperature control. So holding that down, you'll get your cool shot function. When you let it go, it's going to go back to whatever temperature you had before. Also something that was not super intuitive and I couldn't really figure out until I looked at the app there are two filters on this dryer. The nice thing about this dryer is it is going to tell you when it is time to clean that filter. So this is one of the filters on the back here. This is magnetic, it pops off. And what you do, this little silver part unscrews and you clean this very gently underwater. You can see that lint and stuff. It is time for me to do that. Once you have cleaned it off, you want to let it dry for a good 24 hours before you use it again on your dryer. And then to reattach, it simply, you just find that and it pops back into place. The other filter is at the bottom of this. You give this a little pinch and you slide it down and you clean this the same way. Let it dry before you reattach. Make sure when you are cleaning your filters that your dryer is turned off and unplugged. You can also give your light a little clean, which I would use a microfiber cloth for that. So as I mentioned, as a professional, this has been hands down my favorite hair dryer that I have ever used. I am so glad that it is now available for consumers. I think that it offers you great versatility with the concentrator nozzle if you decide to pop that off or if you're going to use the diffuser for curly hair or wavy hair. Overall, I just think that you, this just is in a league of its own in terms of how healthy and soft it makes your hair feel. The fact that it maintains the style for days, I really have no issue with not holding a style after I've used this on my hair. And I just, I, I mean, it's hard to get any kind of shine on blonde hair and uh, this truly makes such a difference and it works so quickly. So if you're interested in purchasing this, I have included a link down below. It is an affiliate link. It helps me out without charging you anything extra for your purchase. Um, I hope that you love this blow dryer as much as I do because I just think from a professional standpoint, this is the top of the line for a blow dryer. If this video was helpful, if you enjoyed this, please give it a little thumbs up. That helps other people to find my video. If you want to see more of this type of content from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time. Bye.